What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today A Litecoin. Right now we're sitting at $190. We're up about 5%. What we're going to be doing is looking at Litecoin on the one day time frame. We're actually going to work down to some smaller time frames as well. Kind of look at these wave patterns that have been coming in. So if you get some from these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have broken through our last target of $178.25. The next one we're going to be looking up to is roughly around $200. That round psychological number if we're able to get up through that. We're going to get into a lot here guys if you get some from these videos don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell appreciate you all being here with me today and if you want me to keep doing these individual litecoin updates let me know down low and also if you've been in litecoin positions and you've been enjoying this beautiful price rise you know so many people say rest in peace litecoin litecoin's been here for a long time now guys it's almost always in the top 10 and take a look at it i mean are people doing rest in peace litecoin now at 200 dollars we were talking about this at 30 bucks so look how far we've came here and we need to be appreciative for that Okay, people a lot of times will underestimate Litecoin, but Litecoin's an OG coin. It just is what it is, and it's went through many market cycles. And I believe it will continue through market cycles, and it's one that's going to be here to stay for the longer term. So that's my opinion. You guys let me know your opinion down low, and we'll dig into this. So the most important thing is we want to now turn this 178.25 into support. So let's turn that green right here. So that's what we're going to want to hold as support. Now, yesterday's candle, we almost had like a rickshaw man doji. You can see we had a lot of fight between the bulls and the bears right in that area. So it's nice to see a little bit of follow through today as opposed to going the opposite direction. Because if we would have started to go a little bit lower today, we would have most likely looked down to around $153.27 as support. Because remember, we're just trying to keep this trend moving right here, guys. Whenever you see these rickshaw man dojis, this really long doji, that's going to show indecision. And that also came on heavier volume. So that's why today's candle close is going to be so important. And the candle close is not going to be for another about 11 hours or so, 10, 11 hours. So you need to be aware that anything can happen here. I hope that we can continue today and push higher up to some of these levels. But that's why we're going to look at some of the shorter term uh, time frames for us as well to make sure that this momentum is going to keep moving to the upside right now on the one day time frame our volatility stop is at 158.37 so basically what that's saying is if we went lower than that area you'd get stopped out because most likely we're going to keep dropping lower so basically this takes the average true range of Litecoin here and it'll calculate that stop loss for you and the tough thing about trading in this space is the volatility the candles are so long so when you do put these stop losses in it's a far a ways away from where the price actually is so I want you to be aware of that, okay? So just, you know, if you're trying to lock in profits or whatever, keep it a little bit tighter. If you're doing a longer position, you might want to just back it off a little bit. That's something that I like to do. But right now, the RSI is sitting at 64 on the one-day time frame, so we still have plenty of more room to go to the upside here if Bitcoin wants to keep moving as well. Typically, when Bitcoin runs, Litecoin will run as well. When Bitcoin dumps, Bitcoin or Litecoin will dump as well. So just be aware of that. And many times, Litecoin is a little bit more extreme to both the upside and the downside. But being at 64, we're not at around 90 or 80 up in those high levels you can see this yellow line that I have down here that represents 80 so that's typically the overbought area to where we start selling off we're not there yet the stocks at 99 and 80 so we are getting a little bit higher there but we have not had any downward cross to the downside through that 80 okay so we want to keep an eye on that next one what I want to do here we're gonna go into the technicals and then we're gonna get into the time frames so for the technicals for Litecoin and also let me know down low if you believe in Litecoin, guys. Is this one you like to trade? Is it a longer-term invest for you? I'd love to hear. I love to trade Litecoin, getting in and out, playing those nice swings and positions. Right now, the buy is at 2 sell, 7 neutral, and a 17 buy. So 2 sell, 17 new, or 7 neutral, excuse me, 17 buy, and the overall summary is a buy. Oscillators, 2 sell, 6 neutral, and a 3 buy. So right now, the relative strength they're showing a sell because we're at 70. But in my opinion, cryptocurrency, guys, it's more around 80. The commodity, excuse me, commodity channel index is going to be a sell. The OSM oscillator is a buy. Momentum is a buy. And MACD level is going to be a buy. And then all of our moving averages from our 10 to our 200 is showing a buy because we're trading up above them. And if we put our moving averages on just to show you where we're at here, so we're up above our 20, our 50, our 100, and our 200 moving average. That's exactly what you want to see right there. Nice trend to the upside, strong momentum. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go through the time frames. We're going to take a look at the 12 hour, see how we're looking, see if the candles look a little bit different. So on the 12 hour, the RSI is at 63, stocks at 88 and 91. And what we're going to still try to do is hold that 178 and get that pushed to 200 if we can. So the previous candle 12 hour that we 
got up to was about 195.78 is the highest we've been. So we need to get up through that area. It's going to be very important for us here. And you can see these waves coming in. Do you see higher low? That's what we want to hold. Higher low, higher low, higher low. If we go back up, we'd want to come back down, set a higher low. That's what you're looking for to keep that uptrend. Next is going to be the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, the RSI is at 64 right now. Still need to get over top of these longer wicks that we tried to get up through. That 195, roughly three times we tried to get up above that on the four hour time frame. We have not cracked it yet. Okay, but still same deal. Look at the higher lows still coming in. So that means the buyers are stepping in. So if this rolls over, we need to set that next higher low and keep trying to push up. Okay, look at those trends. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Now we're going to try to go up higher high and then a higher low. That's how these markets work. And that's why I'm trying to teach you guys this stuff. Okay, it's all about the trend and price action. That's why I've even been keeping the moving averages off many times because when you're looking at this, I can tell that the moving averages are going to be up. But what I like to do is kind of just look at that 50 and 200, up above the 50, up above the 200. So when you really learn price action, you won't have to look at the moving averages near as much as you used to have to. So same deal, higher lows coming in right here. So if we do start to reverse, we'd want to keep that higher low. Right now on the one hour time frame, the volatility stop is going to be at around 181. Oh, 181.99 is where we're at right now. So basically saying if you're trading Litecoin on the one hour time frame right now, you would want your stop to be at 181.85 if you were taking an entry right now. And it's all about that risk to reward. I want you to remember that. So on the RSI on the one day is at 59. Our stock is at 49 and 43. So overall, it's just getting over this 195 then that 200 psychological round number. That's a very psychologically round number that we're gonna have to get up through. So if we step back out here, and really take a look at Litecoin. See guys, last time when we went really hard to the upside, we were at about $100. The last little bit, we went all the way up to around $420 in the matter of about a week or two weeks, right in that range. That's how fast it happens. But you can see on the backside, we have not had one of these parabolic straight up moves yet. And I believe once we have that, that's going to mark the blow off top. And that'll most likely be the end of the cycle for Litecoin. But we are definitely not there yet. We're more in this range right in here. You know, kind of how we're rounding out. We're just going to have to see what continues. But this is really nice since March that we've changed this trend. We want to see some heavier volume. We need to be aware that we did have some heavier selling pressure right up here around that 185. You can see the big volume bar right there. But overall, the trend has been up. Litecoin's been doing really well, and we just got to keep our eye on it, guys. Look at these higher levels, 200, and then about that 238 we look at, then 268, and then we'll work our way up from there. But if you get some from this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless each and every one of you. Take care, my friends.